Inspecting bridges, search and rescue, even delivering medication. All jobs that are done by drones and their operators. But could the rising number of unmanned vehicles in the air pose a threat to the safety of manned aircraft? Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard found out how Charlotte stacks up against the rest of the country when it comes to drone safety. Drones. These small, unmanned aerial vehicles are taking up more and more airspace every day. American 1793 Charlotte Tower. Drones have to share the packed sky with airliners, medical helicopters, and general aviation aircraft. Drone pilots are supposed to stay out of busy controlled airspace if they don't have clearance. But reports of illegal flight activity continues to rise. Yeah, about a mile back, there was a drone flying uh, just on the southwest side of this uh, abandoned airport here. At uh, what altitude would you say that was? I would say probably about 100 feet below us, uh, just off the right wing. Just like with anything else, you will get caught, especially with the remote IDs. Kassan Lucky, owner of Charlotte Drone Pro, says the number of close calls and airspace violations in North Carolina is getting out of hand. You have to know your airspaces because we're one of the major hubs in the United States. Um, you have to know that Charlotte is one of the busiest airports. And if you want to fly anywhere around there, you got to get FAA approval. Drone reported about two and a half miles ahead. Right side of center line, 1,800. According to the FAA, from January to December of 2021, 38 drones came close enough to an aircraft that the pilot identified it and reported the incursion to air traffic controllers and the Federal Aviation Administration. Even though some drones flew within a couple hundred feet of those planes, thankfully no pilots had to take evasive measures to avoid a collision. Lucky says the responsibility to see and avoid rests solely with the drone operator. The FAA can tell what whether or not you've flown your drone, where you've flown your drone, how long you've flown your drone, it doesn't matter what size drone you have, you can still cause, you know, a safety issue. That's United 135, they like to report an air miss with that drone at 850 feet just uh, on the other side of the bridge on final. Besides the physical damage a rogue drone can cause, lives could be on the line. Not to mention the pilots could be on the hook for thousands of dollars in fines and the cancellation of their flying certificates. Interference with manned aircraft is always a violation. A group of specialists oversees drone operations at the FAA. Danielle Corbett is among that team. She said in a recent roundtable on unmanned aircraft safety that increasing access to training will hopefully drive down the number of violations in busy airspace. The new rule allows you to complete that training for free online at the comfort of your own home. So this is a big, big deal. Uh, you no longer have to go to travel anywhere or pay a fee. It's all right there on the FAAsafety.gov website. Use caution. A drone activity was reported two and a half miles final. As the United States approaches two million registered drones delivering medication, snapping pictures, and saving lives, the aviation community is looking up to safer days ahead, as many pilots are left wondering if this is just a phase or the future of flight. Didn't see any drones, but I saw a white seagull. In Charlotte, I'm Hawker Vanguard.